this pot is our last is the last step in our let's make a pot together and it's about finishing which can be the most important part of your project because you don't want to spend all this time cutting out a thousand petals and then doing a really bad finishing job so i have uh, lined the inside with some masking tape and a plastic bag for my grouting because i want to paint this inside rim for about that depth and i want to paint that black the other thing i've done is make sure that i can get a nice clean bottom and taped it all up with masking tape which is pretty good during the the grouting process and you're thinking oh it's a roly-poly thing how do we grout that we turn it upside down and we grout it standing up the only way to go ready for the big finish of course it's the finishing as i said before that really makes or breaks your final piece of work we looked at how to do a band on the top using mosaic so the whole pot becomes a mosaic art often you see painted bands across the top here which is of course absolutely fine but we're just adding that little bit of extra there we looked at how to put a nice edge around the bottom and also how to deal with this lip underneath your pot the other thing was how can we make the inside look really special so what I've done is just paint the band actually on the inside. Because it's going to have lots of water in it, etc. I've chosen to use a satin black oil-based paint. I wouldn't use acrylic with water, it's just going to peel off. So really go for the oil-based paints. These ones you can get um, probably little sample tins of any color you want. I could have painted that lip red, that would look amazing. Um, from your local hardware or paint suppliers. So you don't have to buy four litres or two litres or whatever, and you just use a teeny, teeny little bit um, on various products. Um, I've gone through and cleaned it all. So I've used, uh, once the grouting is done, excuse me, I mix 50-50 water and white vinegar, spray it on, leave it for a little bit. Um, not too long because, um, it's an acid, it's actually a mild acid. So just long enough to, you know, maybe 15 seconds or so and then wipe it all off. And that takes the last bit of the film off. Lots of people like to use various things. Um, even eucalyptus oil apparently is really good for that as well. I haven't tried that. So now we're ready to see it all planted and ready for being donated into a local fundraising effort to raise some funds for New South Wales flood victims.